Wesley, how do you feel like you guys have prepared so far for the uh, Orange Bowl? Um, you know, I feel like, you know, we took a good time to rest, get our body back right, but still getting work in as we getting rest. And, you know, I feel like we're ramping up at the perfect time. I like the schedule we've done. So just diving in the film, really getting as much film we can on them, get, get as much knowledge on their uh, scheme as we can, and go down there ready to compete. Wesley, you played you know, star and you played safety th this year. Where, where are you working at mostly right now? Where are you most comfortable in Coach Banks' defense after a year in it? Um, right now, I'm working at strong, but I'm most comfortable at where, uh, strong or star. Because I, I played star my whole college career. So, uh, But I've been getting the majority of my step, uh, snaps at uh, strong preparing, preparing for Clemson. But tomorrow, I'll, I'll probably wear some more star. Well, so I think you come from Georgia Tech. You, you played against Clemson a couple of times. What do you know about them having a little bit more experience uh, than a lot of your teammates? Um, they are, they're a real disciplined team, uh, you know, savvy team. Uh, they, uh, I got a good, you know, idea on, you know, the way they run their plays. They, they don't really get out of, you know, they have, a, they have an identity that they have on offense. So I'm going to just really go back and watch our old games where uh, I was when I was at Georgia Tech and just remember like what was going through my my head like as I was playing the game uh, but yeah I, I would say that I I have a I have a good feel for like what they're gonna do what they're gonna try to do there was um, clearly a lot of excitement the first day back after a lot of rest but heading into this week kind of what's that feeling in the locker room what's like the vibe in the team this week um the vibe is, you know, everybody just preparing, preparing to go down to Miami and, you know, execute really. It's not, it's not really getting to, it's not, I mean, it's, it feels like a regular, regular uh, week that we have playing in the regular season. Just now we just had a long break. So, I mean, locker room feel good. Everybody seen locked in. We trying to get the new guys acclimated and stuff, but I, I feel like we had a good spot right now. Now that you've gone through a full season with this with this defense, do you feel more or less uh, optimistic about your role with the team? Um, what do you mean by Just your, how important you are to the team, your mm -hmm. impact, your opportunities? Yeah, um, I I really just I mean I really can't wait to like really just f fully just you know be you know I don't know like. I, uh, I I really just can't wait to like just be out there like all the time, so I can like really show you know showcase uh, stuff. But um, you know I'm 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 happy where I'm at. I'm I'm happy. There's still stuff in the defense that I still I'm still learning. So I'm okay with uh, you know learning because you know when when, my, when that time comes, I know I'll be ready for it. You you talk about the the mood and the vibe around the team. First time Tennessee's been in the New Year's Six game. Um, first time they've been in the Orange Bowl since '97. It, it, does that add to the excitement because it's a such a big bowl and the program's not been there in a while? Um, I feel like for some people it, it, it does. From my perspective personally, uh, it's just another game to me. Uh, I mean, I feel like that's a lot how a lot of people look at it too. It's just another game, but I do I do get what you're saying in terms of you know like you know uh, you know Tennessee hasn't been you know at playing playing in a game like this in a in a quite a while so. But I feel like the team handling it well. We're not getting a big head or nothing. We just we know we got to go down there and execute business, and we know that you know this. We actually want to be playing for a championship, so you know we we gonna go down there and handle business and approach it the right way. When you came to Tennessee, if somebody told you Tennessee win ten games, beat Florida, beat Alabama, and play in the Orange Bowl, what would you have said? I believe it. I believe it. That was, that was my vision coming here. I came here to to play in big games and. Uh, you know, win and I could already see it trending that way. Um, when Coach Hype, I played against Coach Hype when I was at Georgia Tech when he was at UCF. So when he he took the job here, I was still at Georgia Tech, but I was like, yeah, that's a good hire. Like, I just like I I knew the offense would would translate well to the SEC and like be something different that like the SEC hasn't seen. But um, that's something most definitely. If somebody would have told me like that's what we would do this year, I, I wouldn't have questioned it at all. Well, so when, when you look at, you know, sort of what y'all thought you could do this season, right? You know, y'all you know, obviously wanted to play for championships. And, and going into at least the South Carolina game, it looked possible that y'all were going to be right there in the mix for the national championship. When that game happens 
and then you find out that you're sort of, you know, you're not going to be in the playoff. How long did it take this team, do you think, to sort of snap out of that and kind of get back to work like normal? Because it, I mean, you're humans, like it had to hurt for a bit, didn't it? Yeah. Uh, uh, I, I forgot what interview I was, I was doing, but I, I had mentioned like all the way through the Vandy week, like we didn't, we didn't, we, we felt it that whole week really just like knowing like we had to come out and redeem ourselves, like, because what we put on film wasn't, wasn't good and like what we, what were you supposed to put on film? So, I mean, I feel like we we took it and learned from it, and you know, ultimately it, it made us a better uh, better uh, team and more like tight oriented and just more locked in on we can't just walk into any game and win it. Like we got to bring it every game. Well, so would you say that that safety is your preferred position, and and why do you like playing it, and what do you think makes you a good safety? Um. I, I I can play star uh, or both the safety position. It's not really a preference. I it's just about being on the field. Really, I mean, uh, uh, my preference. I, I like strong a lot. I like strong, but I like star too. So I can't really tell you which one my favorite one would be. Really. Have you been to Miami before? Um, I have. I played Miami. I played Miami when I was at Georgia Tech. What, what was that experience like? It was Miami? fun. It was fun. I like playing at Hard Rock Stadium. I really can't wait to go back. Like I, I just like the scenery. Like, but we gonna be playing at night. So when I played, it was daytime. So like the sun was coming through and stuff. It was just real good vibe. You know, I, I'm ready to get back down there though for sure. With signing day right around the corner tomorrow, obviously. What was ten? What did Tennessee sell you on when you signed to come here? Um. Really just, you know, you go, you coming to play in the SEC, you playing against the best of the best. So you you if you your dream and aspiration is to play at the next level, then this is the literally the second this is the level right before the next level, the highest you could play at. So that's another reason why I wanted to come here. And, you know, the the logo you playing for, you got the best fan base you got the fa best fan base in the nation and you know, also like the access, you know, to the resources we have, like with the facilities and the trainers and, you know, the nutrition is just all the stuff just here put here for you to be successful.